Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that you have seen what the game looks like before and after the Animosity Havoc presets for Reshade, I'm going to now show you how to actually go through and install this into your game uh, so that you can use it yourself and give it a shot. So, the very first thing that you're going to want to do is go over here and first download Reshade. So you've got this link here, all you do is click on that. It opens up this website here. Just click on the purple download button. That will take you down and then click download again. All right, so you give that a minute. It finishes installing very quick and then just click on that executable to activate it. And then you just give it a minute to warm up. There we go. Now you need to select your game. So click on that. And what you're looking for is your ESO64.exe. So, you're going to want to navigate over to where you have the Elder Scrolls Online installed. For me, that is in my local disk and games folder. For you, it will probably be local disk program files. Then you'll navigate to Elder Scrolls Online, Elder Scrolls Online, Game, Client, and SO64.exe. Double click on that to select it and then select your rendering API. Now this is mostly going to depend on what type of graphics card you have installed, if I am remembering that correctly. I went with Direct3D and it worked perfectly fine for me. If you're running an older graphics card, you would probably want to go with Direct3D 8 or 9, 
or you can give OpenGL a shot. I have not tried it myself personally. Now, this menu popped up for me just because I already have this all installed, so it's wanting me to overwrite it. I will say yes. And then when it asks you if you want to download a collection of standard effects, say yes. That will finish installing. It's very quick. And then it will bring up this uh, menu with all of these different effects, and it has a check mark on all of them. You're going to want to click OK. Then that's done. It will say it succeeded, and now you are safe to exit out of that window. Now, you want to go back to this uh, Reddit page here where Animosity Havoc uh, demonstrated his uh, preset. And I will, just so you know, I will leave a link to this uh, Reddit post in the comments below. So you can click on that to get quick access to this web page. But next what you want to do is open up um, this website here. And this is where you can actually find Animosity Havoc's uh, presets. So you will have all of this information here and what you will actually want to do is click on the show slash hide settings it will open up this window here and you will want to highlight this link up at the top right click on that copy and paste that will take you to this online uh, hosting service and now you can see we're about to download the uber Elder Scrolls 3.rar file, download through your browser, give that a minute to download. It's again a very small download, so it should happen very quickly. There we go. And now that you've got that opened, you just want to open up that .rar file and close your please purchase WinRAR window, <laughs> like everybody does. And now you have these three presets. So what you'll want to do is have these three windows, uh, these three any files in this window opened up. Open up your file explorer and then go back to where you had the Elder Scrolls Online installed. Uh, if you remember, that's where we double clicked on the SO64. You just want to be in this window here. So highlight these three and you want to copy them. Where's the option in here for that? Anyways, you just want to copy, move over in here, and paste. Now for me it's asking me to replace the three that I already have installed, uh, so I will just overwrite that. You will not have that pop-up window because it'll be your first time. And once you've got those moved over into your client folder, you are safe to close all your windows, and the next steps will be done actually in the game. Okay, and now here we are, loaded into the game, and when you are going through the uh, the login screen and everything in the game, you will notice at the top a gray bar appears, uh, letting you know that it is installing the, uh, the information and the files necessary to run the reshade uh, ENB. Um, it will say to press Shift 2 to turn it on and start messing around with the settings. I highly recommend not doing that in the main menu, wait until you are in the game so that you can actually see how these effects are changing the way the game looks. That's just my recommendation. But once you're here in the game, you will need to activate it using the commands that it told you, uh, which was Shift 2, and that will bring up this window here. Now when you first load it up, it will ask you to go through a tutorial. Actually, I don't think it will ask you, I think it will tell you. Uh, I don't think there's any way to get out of it. So. Definitely make sure you're paying attention in that tutorial. It is very short. It leads you through how you get your way around these menus. Um, but I will give you the quick version here, uh, just letting you know about the important things you need to know on activating these presets. So once you get into this menu here, you want to go up to the drop-down list here, and you will see that the EN or the um, presets are automatically detected. So I'm going to start off showing you the uber realistic and this is the one that I was using in the comparison video prior to this part of the video, the tutorial. So you just click on it to activate it and it will do the same loading of the effects that you see when you start the game and then press shift 2 again to get rid of the menu and you immediately see how beautiful it looks with 
those effects turned on. It's absolutely stunning. The colors are much deeper, everything is much sharper, the lighting is really soft. Um, it looks absolutely incredible. But you're going to notice there's those cinematic bars at the top and bottom, and if you want to get rid of those, you just press the number one key on your keypad. Now keep in mind, keypad not being the numbers across the top of your keyboard horizontally, the actual keypad on the far right hand side. Um, pressing one just does your uh, skill attack. So that is actually how you go through and get the ENB presets installed and running and it looks beautiful and actually performance wise I did not notice any noticeable hits to the frame rate. It's running really smooth right now. Um, I can get into combat and everything still works really well. Uh, I don't notice any effect in the latency with the game. Um, I'm not noticing any frame drops. So if you are running a fairly high-end system like I am, and it's not super high-end, I'm running a uh, GTX 970 with an i5-2400 CPU, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, and a pretty old motherboard. <laughs> Um, that's my setup. Nothing spectacular. It's definitely not a top tier gaming setup, but it is pretty good. So if you're running something similar to that, you can expect to be able to run this preset um, and the reshade program without any performance drops, at least from what I have seen. Now I'm sure when you get into the cities, you might notice a hit, but you spend so little time in there and um, I've not any, not done any exhaustive testing in there. But when I ran through one real quick, I did not notice any issues, personally. Um, now, if you are looking at this and you're thinking that there is nothing wrong with it, it's absolutely perfect, you are correct for the most part. However, we do get to the biggest issue using Reshade and the preset, uh, but this is mostly down to Reshade as a program itself. If I open up the map, you will notice that the colors are a bit harsh. So here we go, this is the map. Um, it isn't awful, it's just the contrast on it is really high. And that's because you're seeing the high definition range and the bloom effects and all the coloring going on. Those don't affect just the world, they affect the map and everything else involved in it. Um, they all kind of live within the same image rendering sphere. So that's why you're seeing it affect these different icons. Now it's something that is personally easy to live with for me. Um, even though I do spend a lot of time in the map, this isn't too hard for me to deal with. And it is just the map. Everything else looks perfectly fine. I can even use my journal here and it, it looks just fine to me. Color's a little bit strange, uh, but for the most part it works fine. Uh, where you do get a problem is if you start trying out the other EMBs. So uh, Uber Cinematic is a very similar look to um, Uber Realistic. Uh, I would say that the um, lighting is a bit sharper and the, um, the sharpening on the textures and stuff is also a bit more harsh. Uh, but it does look nice. I definitely love the way it looks. But then you have the problem when you open up the map, and <laughs> prepare your eyes for this one, unfortunately. It's a bit of a hazy reddish color. It's not too bad. Um, I would say it's not as high contrast as the other one. Um, but it, it this one's a little bit harder to look at, unfortunately. But then we move on over to Fantasy, which is personally my favorite preset. I absolutely love the way it looks outside of the map and everything. Uh, you see the uh, the lighting is so soft, uh, the colors are really bright, um, things aren't too sharp, but definitely a little bit sharper than normal. Uh, but when you get into the map, then you've got a very blinding map. This one, even I have a bit of a hard time um, looking at for too long, it's just pretty sharp and a bit of a, a bright bright yellow almost kind of a rosy pink color coming off of it um, 
So unfortunately this is a little bit rough to deal with, but that does lead into my second part of this, which is how to actually modify these presets if you're interested. So if you open back up this menu, you first want to head over to the settings tab, and then this usage mode, switch it over to configuration mode, and that will reload all of those effects. So you just give that a quick second. There we go. And then head back to home, and you'll see we have this new very bright red window here. Get rid of those cinematic bars. Now this bright um, red window over here are the settings for each of these settings up here at the top. So let me collapse everything to get a better view. So if I'm looking at the HDR, if I open up that tab, it is simply just the setting to turn that on or off. So that's off, and that's on. Now if I want to change the actual settings for HDR, I scroll down to the setting down here in the red, and now I can start messing with... Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> now I can start messing with the actual HDR power level and the radius of it. So you can really get these going a little bit crazy. <laughs> um, now, your best bet is to probably not mess around with them too much. Uh, what you can do is open up your map and then open up the settings and then you're able to start messing around and see what it is that is giving it that color. Now, what I would notice for the most part is um, click finish here, and reload, give that a second so that I can start showing you with the uh, uber realistic. There we go. So you're kind of back to that reddish kind of color and if you want to start messing with the settings for that, I believe ambient light is the one that really messes with that. So if I collapse everything and head over to the ambient light over here, now you can start messing with all of these different settings to try and find one that will get rid of the effect happening on the map. And um, there we go. So there's a lot to play with here. Um, so definitely a good idea to go through there and see what settings work for you. Um, and yeah, that pretty much covers everything about messing with the settings, switching between the different preferences and the different presets. Um, and I did mention, you know, performance is not too heavy. Uh, I did not notice any significant frame drops. So um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video here. Um, if you are interested in any more videos like this, uh, looking at different types of uh, graphic modifications, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, um, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching.